second quarter earnings are out from Global Foundries. Let's take a look. This is the business story behind One Stock and Move. I'm Corey Johnson, Chief Market Strategist for the Futurum Group. Global Foundries, uh, very important because we need more chips in this world and, and a diversified manufacturing base outside of Taiwan and something the rest of the world is really hoping to see Global Foundries and Intel and others develop. So what do we get from this quarter? For Well, it was a beat, I guess, from Wall Street's uh, point of view. Second quarter earnings a little bit higher than expected, but we wouldn't really care about what's happening in the business. So let's look a little bit deeper. $1.8 billion in revenues, gross margins of 24%, um, and an operating margin of 9.5%. Uh, so profitable, $155 million in profits in the quarter. And we look a little uh, deeper into this business. Revenues were down 12% on a year-over-year -year basis. And I, to me, that's so much more obviously important than whether it was a beat or a miss. Revenues are down. It's been a tough time in the semiconductor world uh, across the board. But in the conference call, the company said things are starting to turn around. So um, their profitability has been holding up, or their EBITDA, if you will, uh, holding up quite well. And, and quarterly revenue is down 12%. But they really think that this might be the bottom here, that we've really reached the end of uh, the sell-off, even though they're selling into so many markets. And when you look at all the markets they're in, smart mobile devices, communications, home and, and IoT, automotive uh, and other non-wafer revenue. But uh, automotive, uh, strong for them, which is really interesting because we've heard mixed results from different semiconductor makers about uh, selling into automotive. But the big inventories of their customers uh, in IoT uh, actually hurt them in this quarter because they're in so many markets it's tough for them to really see a bottom across the board here and, and confidently predict a turnaround. We look at the stock chart uh, after the numbers came out, the stock sold off 4% after a pretty lousy year for the stock, already down 26% um, now in, a, in the full 12 month period. Tom Caulfield, Thomas Caulfield, the CEO of the company, talked on the conference call about, again, how difficult it is to see the bottom and where it is and when it's gonna happen. Here's what he had to say about where we are in the cycle. It's clear you know, we're at the, the bottom of the cycle. Uh, and I think the real question is, uh, you know, when do we come up in a meaningful way from the bottom of the cycle? And, and this is, it's not a monolithic answer because we play in many end markets. And, and so I would tell you, while home and industrial IoT did a really good job on, on uh, you know, not or bleeding down inventory in the quarter, they still you know, have not really seen the demand that's, that they need to start growing again. Uh, same, I would say, with comms infrastructure, an end market that investments have slowed down in. Now, on the other end, for at least for GF, you know, automotive is a, is, is a bright spot for us. This is a, a year on year, you know, meaning, meaningful growth for GF. And of course, we're seeing, as everybody else is seeing, in smart mobile devices, after you know, two years of depressed uh, mobile device sales, this is the year where most people are calling for, you know, a low low single uh, digit growth and you know that's an opportunity for us to continue to, to grow our revenue so i would say when i think of uh, of what's going to be that catalyst to get real growth we're going to have to see if ai enabled devices drive a refresh cycle and this is something we'll see over the coming quarters so more demand from AI devices, wouldn't we all like to see that? Well, it's, I don't think we have anybody confidently predicting that that's gonna happen at the end of this year, maybe as we were hearing at the beginning of this year, maybe not so much right now. We'll keep listening for the things. But the, the, the big drill on earnings takeaway, one number, it's kind of a number, that tells you a whole lot about this company and this quarter right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So second quarter earnings from Global Foundries. Here's an essential summary of what you need to know. This company had $1.6 billion in revenues, but that was down uh, substantially, 12% from the previous year. Uh, stock sold off on the news, even though it exceeded expectations, whatever. The business is getting smaller. But the number I want you to remember is zero, because we'll probably have zero more quarters of negative growth with the CEO telling us we are indeed at the end of this downward cycle. All right, uh, thanks for listening to Drill on Earnings. Check me out on uh, all the socials. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media. And of course, you can find us on X, on Twitter, uh, at Corey TV, Drill Down Pod on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, keep watching us right here on YouTube.